Hi, my name is Elizabeth Wagner. I'm a hand weaver and a textile designer and I've been working on some videos to take a beginner from start to finish on a hand weaving project. Welcome to my channel Illumination. And we've gotten to the point where we're actually at the end of our project. The project is off the loom. The scarf that we've been making is completely finished except for the fringe and the wet finishing. In my last video I showed you what um, what I did to twist the fringe. You don't have to twist fringe if you don't want to, but I decided for this project that's what I would do. And uh, this, this uh, fringe is being twisted with a special device that I usually use that was actually designed for hair, I think, but it works well for twisting fringe, and I don't even know if they make them anymore. But you can also do the twisting by hand with your fingers. So this is where I am right now on my project. I've got pretty much all of the fringe twisted on one end and you can see that this dark brown yarn is the alpaca warp that we warped the loom with. And here are the little knots at, that I've tied the fringe off with. And um, my plan is to wet finish the scarf and then trim the fringe to just below the knots. Um, so right now I've just left all the extra yarn on here for now and that's fine to wash it like that. And I'm actually on the second side of the scarf. I've twisted all the fringe but a couple so I thought I'd leave a couple for you to see one more time how I do the fringe twisting. And you can see here are my loose ends um, and I'm taking two each on each side of the fringe. So altogether there's four warp ends in one fringe. And so I'm taking two and two and I'm taking my little spinning device here and I'm putting the yarn on one little arm and uh, two ends on one and two ends on the other. And then I'm pushing the button forward so that the um, yarn twists real tight. And you can see how the remainder of this yarn is kind of twisting up and that kind of gets in the way so you can also trim, trim it a little bit shorter to prevent that. And then I'm pushing the button down on this little device so that it twists both of these sides against um, each other the other way or to the left um, and then I just take it off and just try to sh pull these ends out and then you can see the yarn twisted around itself here A little fuzz. so I'm just gonna tie a knot in it single knot and I'm using the last fringe that I just did kind of as a measuring device to keep all of my knots um, even. So if I just kind of pull it tight so that it winds up around the same length as the ones before it's kind of an easy way to measure to keep them all even. Um, and then this is my last one. This little tail right here was the weft, the hand spun yarn that I used in the weft when we first started weaving. And if you remember back then I said you could just leave a little tail. So uh, I'm going to figure out. This one goes behind. I can tell. I'm going to put my glasses on. This one goes behind. This one goes in front and then you can see these two. So these are my last four pieces of yarn. I'm going to trim them a little bit so that they don't start to double back like the last four did. So I'm going to put these two on one of these hooks and I'm going to put these two on the other hook and I'm going to hold this out here and try to keep 
all the other things that you're not working with off to the side so things don't get twisted up together. All right, so I'm going to push the little button um, forward to twist to the right. And then I'm going to pull it back, and it's going to twist everything to the left. And sometimes it falls off of those little hooks, but that's okay. And then I'm just, there's my fringe. I'm just going to tie one little overhand knot to hold them. And pull it down until it's the same length as the knot before it. And, and that's it. So I've pretty much twisted all of my fringe. And like I said, when I go to wash all this, I'm going, going to leave the, um, this extra stuff below the knot on there until after I wash it. And then after it's dry, I'll trim it all. That way it'll have a, a clean cut to it and it won't be all fuzzy. If you trim it first, and then wash it, it's going to fuzz up a little bit when you wash it and it won't be as clean and um, um, straight as you know as you might want it to look. It's up to you. If you want to leave these, you can leave them. It's all uh, personal preference. I'm going to leave this little tail here too until after I wash it and once that's uh, all washed, I'll trim that as well. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to start the water for my uh, wet finishing, and we'll see how it all comes out after that. See you soon. All right, so here we are. I've got my scarf, and I just filled a little uh, lukewarm water and in a wash basin, and I'm going to wash it with a little bit of baby shampoo. So, I put my um, scarf in here, and take me just a few minutes to just let it wash good in this lukewarm water. Um, don't agitate it too much unless you want it to start getting um, felt uh, like felt up because once you get the fibers wet, the more agitating you do, the fuzzier and denser the fibers become, they become shorter and fatter, so they begin to get um, felted. And I'm just going to gently wash this for a few minutes, and then I'll be back. Alright, so I finished washing my uh, scarf in some mild shampoo, and, and then I rinsed it out, and I'm just going to put a little, I put some fresh water in the basin and I'm going to put a little fabric softener in there and then I'm going to let that sit in there for, I just usually let mine sit in for about 15 minutes. It gives it a nice softness when it comes out and um, as soon as we're done with that, we'll put it up to dry. So I just rinsed out my fabric softener and I'm just going to give it um, the scarf one quick rinse and then I'm going to squeeze all the water out, gently, but as much as you can get out. And once you do that, you can even take another bath towel and put it in there. Maybe wrap it up a little bit. Oh, let me see if I can do this. And just roll it and squeeze it. just to get the excess water off. And then all we're going to do is hang it up on a drying rack. And you don't really have to block it or anything. Just hang it nicely to dry so that um, by the next morning it should be completely dry. You can smooth it out a little bit with your hands and straighten the fringe out a little bit. And that's it. Thank you for watching.